Welcome coaches. Uh, this is Coach Mackey and Coach Slade Singleton. We are here for the first annual um, Air Raid Clinic. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over four questions. Now if you all have any questions, then go ahead and type it up. But the four questions that we're going to go through is, uh, he, and how we're going to do this is I'm going to give the question, he's going to write his play, and then I'm going to come and write my play. So the very first question, since it's Quads Wednesday, is what is your favorite quad play? And Coach, take it away. All right, first what we're going to talk about is going to be our favorite quad play, all right? So basically what we're going to do here is we're already in our quad set, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to push motion the tail back, okay, as fast as we can out, and basically we're going to run the bubble with him, all right? So the first thing we do with our quarterback is we teach him we're going to read the box, okay? Because what we're going to do is we're going to attach a quarterback draw with this, okay? So if we have numbers in the box, first thing quarterback's going to do is he's going to run the draw. So what he's going to look at is he's going to read that mic right there, okay? All right, that's his read. So if that mic in any way creeps out of that box to chase that tailback on the push motion, he's automatically gonna run the quarterback drop, okay? That's built in, we don't have to call that, we don't have to tag it, it's built into this play. So basically what we're doing, we're gonna push motion him out, okay? He's gonna run that bubble, all right? So we're gonna block most dangerous with everybody. So for our Y, most dangerous is gonna be that Sam, so right in front of him, he's gonna block it, silly, okay? What we teach our M here is he's going to step inside and seal anything coming from the inside, okay? And then our Z is going to block that corner right there. And you can tell we got numbers. Now we're one on one with that safety. Coaches, you can't get a better play than one on one with somebody, okay? And basically what we teach our backside, it's going to be a uh, access throw, all right? So he's just going to run the slant in behind it right there. So if they want to bring a little pressure off that edge, try to get them in there, we got that built in automatically, quarterback knows he's going hot. So that's basically how we run one of our best quads play. I'm going to pass it off to Coach Mackey now, and he's going to put his on the board. All right. Thank you, Coach. And for the y'all that are here, I appreciate it. we got 21 coaches. Um, if you could, right before I do this, give it a thumbs up if you find any of this information helpful. And if you like what we do here, please subscribe. So what I like to do is I'm not smart enough like coach. I, I can't process pushing people into motion. I just like to go ahead and line up. So we just go ahead and line up into our quads. And what we like to do is I like to go ahead and still use the, uh, the tailback so that we keep the same stuff and the defense doesn't know what we're doing as we do it. So this is quads right for us. And my favorite thing to do is, besides run the ball, like Coach said, I don't want to get on his coattails that much, is I like to run the mesh package. And mesh is huge for us. We do this every day. So what I like to do is the quarterback, I got 12 people on there playing Canadian football, is we run our normal mesh with the three receivers like we would three by one. With the tailback there, so if we do three by one mesh, the tailback's on this side, and he's pushing this way. So now, we put him over here, he's still gonna run the same spot, he's gonna end up in the same spot. So our mesh rules, Y is always set in the mesh, L is always coming underneath. You know, you can settle up in zone, if it's zone, keep running if it's man. The R either has a corner, a post, or an out. I stole that from Hal Mummy, he just put out, I found it somewhere online, he just put it out. That's how he changed his mesh route. The F now, since he's on the three receiver side, he is running a flat route, and the tailback is running a drag straight across. So he winds up where he would if he is in the uh, back here. Quarterback really does, this isn't part of the progression at all. So the quarterback's thought process is one to two to three to four to oh shit. And that's the oh shit right there. And the way we do that is nothing changes for the quarterback because if we're in a three by one, he's here, he's still the, the oh shit. So we still got everything this way. So that's, that's my favorite quad play. That was coach's favorite quad play. If you've got a favorite quad play, please leave it in chat. Could y'all help us out if we have anybody chat and just type something? Because it doesn't show up for us, and we just want, I just want to see if it works. This is the first time we've done this. Um, the next question, Coach, if you don't mind, is since we are both air raid aficionados, hopefully that we said it, good Lord, that went really fast. 
That's moving, guys. That that is. I hope y'all. Dang. Oh, okay. There we go. So I just gotta touch it. All right. I appreciate it, fellas. Um, since we're both air raid aficionados, what we're gonna go over is our favorite air raid pass. And I'm gonna let Coach go ahead and take it up. I'm gonna erase this disgusting drawing up. And take it away, Coach. All right, we're gonna talk about our favorite air raid pass. All right, Coach, we, we run our Y stick a little bit different. I just showed Coach before we got live here of how we're gonna run that, so. Oh, it is amazing. It is amazing. So basically we're going to draw it up and let you guys look at it. If you like it, let me know. If you don't like it, let me know too because I like new ideas and I like to change things. So let me know if you, what you think about it. Draw it up here real quick. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to draw it up without defenders real quick so we can see how this looks. So there's a lot going on on this Y stick play. Um, it's not like your classic Y stick. Um, I like to kind of put my own swing on things sometimes, and, and sometimes it's not good, sometimes it is. Alright, so basically what we're going to do is here on the he, back he's side. He's lying, it's always good. It's <laughs> we'll always good. We'll start on the back side here, okay, away from, away from the stick, and we're just going to go vertical here. I mean, we can post him, we can tag a post if we need to, whatever we see on the back side. Uh, what I'm going to do is I am going to put the, the mic right here, okay, the mic, okay, and usually we get this a little bit. I'm going to put this out here just so we can tell what's going on. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this mic in a bad spot. That's what I'm trying to do, okay? So here's how I'm going to do that. All right, I'm going to take my M and I'm just going to run a straight, pretty much spot route right over the guard, okay? So now that mic has got eyes on that spot, okay? Now what I'm gonna do also to put him in conflict is I'm gonna take my back, okay? And I'm gonna, he's gonna look like he's gonna run that shoe route, okay? All right, so when he runs that shoe route, he's gonna get halfway out there, he's gonna put his foot in the ground, and he's gonna bring it right back, and we're gonna run what we call the V-cut, or the option route, okay? And he's just gonna run it right through there, okay? Now, that mic's in a bad spot, coaches, I mean, he's, He's looking at two things going on, okay? So now he can't try to rob over um, to our stick route. Okay, so basically here we're just gonna go uh, vertical, okay? We're still gonna run our stick, okay? And now what I can do is if, if that Sam sits on my stick, okay, if he sits there, now I've got room for my, my Y to work his way back out, okay? And that's pretty much how we're gonna run our stick route this, this year. Um, just trying to change it up a little bit. If you like it, let me know. If you don't like it and you think it's crazy, let me know too. All right, Coach Mackey. All right, let's see if people... Uh, Coach Clay Baker, hopefully I'm saying that right. Yes, this will be uploaded later on today. Um, it should go straight in once we end this. will be great to chat and questions as we watch listen. Uh, I agree. Okay, we need to draw a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. Hard to see. Got y'all. Gotcha. Um, let's see if this works. If I bring it forward just a little bit. How's that? Can, can y'all see it just a little bit better? Again, this is a work in progress. Thanks, Coach Price. I appreciate it. Now, I am going to piggyback off Coach. What I like about this is, and I've, I've talked about it, and we've talked about this off, I'm not smart enough to have my guy read this, and if he pushes this way, and then all of a sudden I have to look backside, mm -hmm. and, and what I like about it is if this mic keeps pushing this way, well, he's screwed, because he's flying out. Coach told us, He's running the shoot route, the mic goes, crosses his face, and now he comes back. So now, really, the quarterback doesn't have to worry about backside. This is all pre-snap. Right. So then, if he sees the mic flash, then he can come right back to it. And most teams, I know you, too high. We yeah. play a lot of too high teams. Right. This is almost like a, like the passing league route. Everybody yes. knows what the passing right. league. Where yeah. you run them straight up the pipe. Well, now we actually do that. I am totally stealing that. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to say that. Y'all heard it here first. I made this. He did. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Coach Barrett, yes. This, this will be on the channel later on today. Usually what happens is, uh, I've researched this, usually when we end the, the stream, it goes straight into the YouTube video. So, yes, we are at school. That is a bell. That's what happens. That's nice, Coach. I'm definitely taking that. All right, my favorite air raid pass is the shallow game. Uh, I love it. 
I am a, a fanboy for the shallow. We really didn't go that much. We didn't use it my first year. We used a lot of it. Let me stand this way. Is this better? Can y'all see this? Is this? Can y'all see this a little bit? All right, uh, Coach Noodley. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Uh, says I'm from Miami. We get mostly one safety. What air raid play would you suggest? Zone and man. You're in luck. Shallow cross. Shallow cross. Look at that. Go. I'm reading your mind. I'm reading your mind. Okay, so we didn't go through this. We used this maybe sit the last six or seven games. Since we went strictly to the, the shallow cross play, we averaged about 700 yards and eight touchdowns. So I'm not that dumb. We will definitely do this most of the time next year. So what I like to do is, this is our stud. So I like to tag him in the, in the shallow cross. So outside receivers know when we run shallow cross, they've got outside release. We could tag it anyone we wanted to with the post. All we got to do is say shallow cross R post or shallow cross L post. Doesn't matter. Now the shallow, we call this F shack, or I'm sorry, Y shack. That tells the Y he has got the drag. He's taking one step forward and getting his butt all the way across the sideline as fast as possible, and he is not stopped. He's not throttling down to nothing. He's seeing how fast he can go from one side of the field to the other. He's essentially doing his uh, 40 yard dash and see what he's doing. Now the F, the F is running a 10 yard dig and he's running straight across and now we're trying to do it this year is he's got the option of, of settling up whenever he finds the windows. So I call it grass. Whenever he finds grass that's where he's going to settle up. So he can do anything anywhere around here. Now the very important coaching point is the F. If he's got someone, we'll use a red color, let's say he's got a defender head up him or slightly outside, he has got to take his route and he has actually got to go around and then restack him and get back up. And the reason why is we want this defender, if I'm, if you're the, you coaches are my defender, I want him to go outside so I turn so my eyes aren't on the shallow that's coming. If I go inside, then I can see that shallow and then I'm just going to blow him up and that's awful. So always outside release and make this defender turn his hips to get in the play. The tailback, he is running a shoot route to whatever side the shallow is coming from or starting out. Now, I teach the quarterbacks this way. I know it's not smart. Coach and I were talking about it. Uh, R4 wise, rhythm, read, rush. I'm an idiot. Can't do it. Sorry. If you want that, then I recommend Dub Maddox's stuff. He is a genius. I'm not. I barely passed high school. I teach grass. And the quarterback has to know the areas where the grass is going to be. So, if I don't tag anything, that these are dead. Now, don't tell the wide receivers these are dead. Because if you tell them they're dead, they're not going to run it. So, they have to know, when you do routes on air, they have to know that they're getting the ball. So, that you tell them you may get the ball, you don't know. If I tag it, then the quarterback knows, YOLO, I'm throwing it. I don't care about anything else, I'm just throwing it. So, that's not tagged, so this is what we're doing. This is the grass area first. So the quarterback's coming, one, two, three, plant. He's looking at this area. Is there a different colored jersey in this area? No, then on that third step, he's throwing it. He's finding the drag, throwing it. If there is color in that jersey, then he's hitching up, and now he's looking in this area, this grass area. Is there a different colored jersey in this grass area? No, then he's throwing that. Yes, he's hitching up, and now he's finding the back. And you have to remember, remind him over and over again that if you get confused, Find the back. The back is always open. Defensive coordinators and defenses in general do not like covering this guy. They just forget about him. So that's my favorite play. Let's see what they say. Come on up, coach. All right, much better. Three vert with a comeback. Mm -hmm. if coach that... Polio, welcome from Portugal. That's crazy. Welcome, coach. Uh, okay. If my finger gets in the way, guys, I'm sorry. Three vert with the comeback. Coach has a phenomenal, he does a great job. Coach, go ahead. Show him your, your vertical package real quick. Yeah. yeah, we can do verts. Good Lord, Coach Mack used the whole board. That's what I'm talking about. I know. He uses the whole field. Let me get my ugly face out of the way. 
And make them defend the whole field, Coach. I like it. That's what I think of. That's what I try. I like it. I'm going to draw a little bit bigger for you guys so you can see what I'm doing here. Uh, Coach Sam. Sorry, I can't pronounce your last name. I'm, I'm awful at it. Uh, what I like, I don't know about Coach, but I like the shallow from our goal line all the way up into the 20, the plus 20. And then when we get into the red zone or the green zone, I like to go mesh because that's when we see more man-to-man -man and it restricts the field. So I want to get more crossing routes, rubs, and, and I call them picks, but we can't call them that. we got to call them rubs. But you get a lot more picks and rubs and a lot more people open up. So that's what I like. All right, talk a little bit about, about the uh, vertical game. All right, here's how we teach our quarterback the vertical game. First off, we got to know how many safeties are on the roof. All right, so we say, if in this picture you're looking, there's two on the roof. All right, our quarterback has to know that. Okay, so if there's two on the roof, all right, so we know automatically that our M has already, know, he already knows and it's built in that he will run the bender against a two high safety. Okay, so basically we want to get outside or top of the numbers outside vertical with our X, all right? He's gone, he's getting out of here. Okay, same thing with our Z, all right? So basically what we're teaching this guy right here is once you get vertical and you clear that, that wheel or that backer and there's two high, okay? If there's two high, he's on the roof, all right? We're automatically just gonna bend that sucker right there, okay? So he knows that automatically, all right? Y is going to be vertical and he's staying out of the trash. Okay, we don't want him getting in there. So we don't run the double bender coaches. All right, I know a lot of teams do that. I don't like it. I'm afraid my guys are going to run into each other and not have <laughs> yeah. enough space. Yeah. All right, so I want my quarterback to have a clear picture. All right, and anything we do, I want him to have a clear picture. So that's how we run uh, our four verts in a, against a two high. Okay, all right. And I know somebody said something about comebacks. And what we do is if we, if we know and they're a man and we can run the comeback on this guy, We'll tag the comeback. All right, we tag a lot of the four verts. I think it's the best uh, play to tag out of. I mean, you got a lot of options. We, we what we call we call Z under. Okay, so we'll take our Z. And we'll tag him on the Z under. Okay, so basically he's just running that shallow. Okay, right through there. All right, there's a there's 500 things you can tag out of uh, out of four verts. I love it. Uh, I think you can do it very quickly, especially in a two minute offense. All right, if you're a two minute drill. Uh, you know, getting get two by two set, go four verts and just tag your way down the field. Uh, another thing we do is we might call, um, uh, we'll still run the bender there, my bad. We'll call uh, X dig, so he'll chase that bender, okay? So we'll do that as well. I don't know if you can see that, but he's going to chase that bender. Um, so we do that. I mean, a lot of things you can do out of four verticals. I like it. I love it. I know a lot of coaches have success with it, and we've had a lot of success with it. All right, Coach Maggie, what's next on the, on the uh, All right, agenda? Let's, let's see if anybody says anything. Um, have you changed shallow against zone to shallow comeback or something else? Uh, Coach Paulo, I hope I'm saying that right. I'm really sorry if I'm not. Uh, with the shallow cross game, you can. We have actually tagged our outside guys with post. We've tagged them with curls. I don't like the comeback because, it, to me, that's a more difficult – uh, pass for the quarterback. I like my guys instead of playing and going to the, the sideline. Thank you coach I like them to plant and turn into the quarterback so they show your numbers to the quarterback But we tag it with that. Those are the only two tags that we have actually done um, But that's something I want to get a little bit better at the following year Tag your way down the field. Yeah, co coach is amazing. He's got uh, some nice sayings and again coaches if you are just joining us. I am Coach Mackey. This is Coach Singleton, and we're coaches. together. You should know this man. Follow him on Twitter at what? What's your handle? It's uh, at Slade248. Okay. If you want to learn stuff, get it. Also, this man has a product out about the air raid. It's on Coach's Tube. After this is over with, I will link it into the show description and notes. But if you can go ahead and tell tell him about the uh, yeah. your course, Coach. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's Pretty uh, self-explanatory. Uh, we talk a little bit about the uh, air raid concepts that we use. Now, we're not strictly air raid, so if you're looking to get a straight <laughs> air raid course, it's it's really not a straight air raid course. Um, you know, I talk about a lot of our passing game, uh, things we do in the passing game, uh, and putting defenders in conflict is basically what we do. Uh, quarterback sweep RPOs in there. We're getting ready to go over that here. That is something we, we're going to go over. Uh, you know, and it basically just talks about how we call the offense uh, and how we would go move at a fast pace, up tempo. Uh, 
you know, we also use tight ends in our offense. We'll, we'll get in two tights. Um, we'll get in one tight. We'll get in a double sniffer set we call hammer. I like it sometimes. It's just a good change up for what we do. If you have tight ends in your offense, I would highly advise you to get this man's course. It's on Coach's Tube. It's, it's phenomenal. I give it, if I had more hands, I'd give it more thumbs up. But I would advise it again. I will link it in the description so you can find it later on after this is over with. Um, Coach Carter and I can't see and whatever Julian video. Hello. Uh, so what we're going to go over now, the next question is our favorite RPO tag. Now I know that you can have a thousand RPOs. I would advise against it. I don't know about about you. No, we we don't have that many RPOs. Uh, we, we have a zone. We have a couple of zone RPOs. We have a snag RPO. Okay, and what we're going to go is Coach is going to talk us through his favorite RPO tag. Yep. We're going to talk a little bit about the quarterback sweep RPO. Uh, we have three different variations we run off this. Uh, it's been really good for us. And if you have an athletic quarterback, uh, you know, that you want to get out on the edge and, and get him out there to do some things, I really recommend it. All right, you guys back on there? I think we lost you guys there for a second. Looks like you guys are back on there. All right, so basically what we're gonna do, this is what we get a lot on this RPO, and I'll draw it up and I'll move out of the way so you can see what you're, you're seeing there. All right, that's basically what we get a lot. Um, you can tell that it's, it's kind of weird sometimes how people play us, but I, I can't help how they line up to us and how, we, how they do things. Uh, so basically what we're going to do, okay, is in the first tag that we use um, is basically just bubble. So we attach bubble with the, the quarterback sweep RPO. And here's how we do this with our linemen. Um, we, we're pretty big up front and we're not very fast. Uh, we tried to reach block, kind of like outside zone, and try to get out there. We weren't able to get out there uh, well enough. So basically we decided, and my O-line coach, who's been coaching O-line for about 31 years, uh, had a good idea. So basically we run uh, pin and pull to get our quarterback out there on the edge on our quarterback sweep RPO. I mean, some people might look at it and say, you're really pin and pulling on a sweep. Yes, sir, we are. All right, so basically our rules are, if you don't have anybody to block down on, you pull. All right, so basically this is what it usually turns up to be, okay? Block down, block down, and he's just gonna kind of hinge and seal right there on that back side. So that's basically what that looks like, okay? And we're just gonna pull and pull, okay? All right, so we use our tailback to help seal that edge, and here comes our quarterback, okay? And what we teach our quarterback, and right here's our read, okay? We're gonna read that flat defender, okay? So what I tell my quarterback is, and he was a runner last year, okay? So basically I told him that I wanted the ball in his hands. So I said, if he does not play you and he doesn't attack you, you turn that sucker up and you get as many yards as you can get and, and make your way to the end zone if possible, all right? But if he does play you, here's what we've got, okay? So we're gonna run bubble, okay, with our number three, all right? So basically how we teach that is, I want him to be quarterback friendly. And what I mean by that is, I don't care if he backpedals out. I don't care if he turns around, but he has to be quarterback friendly. What I mean by that is he has to give him a good target, okay? And I want him just to work all the way out, okay? And if he has to sit, once he gets out here and doesn't get it, I want him to sit. And I wish I could um, show you a good clip because I have one where he works all the way out and he sits. Um, so basically, he's just going to walk out there and sit. And all we're going to do is we're going to block these guys. We're going to seal him. And if he comes, we're going to seal him, Okay? That's the very first version we use in the quarterback sweep RPF. It's nothing sexy, I promise. All right, but if you've got an athlete right here to cue, if you've got a cue and you, you run sweep with your cue a lot, this is money. And what we'll do on the backside is, is we'll just drag this guy across. We'll just bring him across. You're never going to hit him. It's not an option, okay? We have a little problem here? No. Let's see. No, no we're good. All right. You guys still with us? Thumbs up? All right. So that's the first version of the quarterback sweep RPO. All right, we'll go over another variation with it. Okay, this one right here I really like. Okay, we're getting more into a, a true 
RPO look on this one. Uh, we're going to line it up about the same way, okay? We don't want anything to look too much different than what we do. Now what we will do is we will stack these guys and we will run it out of stack um, just to give it a different look, okay? So basically we're doing the same thing because they're going to give us probably about the same look as we usually get when we do this, okay? A lot of teams like to put that wheel out there, coaches, because they, they think they can bring him off the edge on us and try to run down our quarterback. Well, if he's running down my quarterback on a sweep or a sprint out, we're in trouble anyway. <laughs> All right? So, you know, it's, that's just one of those things. If they got a good, if they got a stud out there and can do that, uh, good, good luck. He's playing D1. All right? So basically, again, what we're going to do is we're going to block down, pull, okay? Block down, inch seal, pull. Seal with the tailback. Okay, here comes the quarterback again. All right, our read is still that flat defender. We are reading that flat defender all the time on this quarterback sweep RPO. All right, so basically if he comes up and play the quarterback, here's our next option, okay? We're still gonna run bubble with number three, okay? All right, our Y is gonna run the wheel, okay? And what we teach our Z is he's gonna run the grass curl, okay? So basically his job is, is to work around that sand, okay? If he wants to sit there, you work around him and you curl it up anywhere in there. Or if he, if he vacates, you curl it up short. All right, so basically what we're doing is we're trying to hit it in behind that sand when he wants to come attack that quarterback. It's a win-win, coaches. He can't be right, okay? He's, he's, got, he's got a lot of problems here because he's either got to go get the bubble, okay? Now they can play hard cover too and come down and get that. If they want to, then, then we better be smart side. enough to put it right there before that safety rolls over, okay? A lot of options you can do with this quarterback sweep RPO, coaches. Um, you know, another variation that we'll do with it. All right, I'll try to leave everything else. All right, hold time. on, coach. You oh. got to oh. – uh, do you see a lot of odd fronts? We, we do. We do see a little bit of odd front. Uh, yeah. Not a lot. But we do see a little bit. We, we see a ton of odd fronts. That, that is pretty much all we see. And then how often do you use this quarterback sweep in the red zone? Uh, we do a lot. Actually, I, I have a film clip that uh, I will post later to my Twitter uh, account if you'll look at it. And it's basically we're on the 10, or it might be on the 8 somewhere around in there. And basically the one I'm getting ready to draw up right now is the one we used and we, and we scored off of it. Um, I do use it a lot in the red zone. Uh, a lot of the reason we don't see a lot of uh, odd fronts is because we run the P out of the football. Um, and we, you know, we're very big up front. We'll hammer you if we can. Uh, so that's why we don't see a lot of odd. We see more uh, you know, even front. And one more, Coach. Oh. Uh, does the back take the five technique on the quarterback sweep RPO? He does. If he shows, basically he is sealing anything on that end. So if it's that five and he shows, he's his. Anything on, this, on the outside coming off that edge, is that running backs. Again, my running back is, uh, he's 6'3", 230, so he, he can take that sucker That's on a guard. Day long. That's a guard. Uh, yeah, he played tight end for us last year a little bit too, so. <laughs> uh, pretty big kid, uh, you know, but the kid gets it. So we trust him to do a lot of things. Um, the one you just, I was just talking about in the red zone, coaches, we'll stack it, okay? Again, we're still doing the same thing, okay? We're pinning, we're pulling. All right, here comes the quarterback, tailback's going to seal, okay? All right, and again, we're just going to run that bubble. All right, we're going to seal. He's going to seal anything on the inside. Again, the red zone, now what do they got to do, okay? This flat defender right here, he's still in a bind, okay? He's got to figure out, what do I want to do? I want to get him, I want to get that quarterback, okay? Either way, uh, we put defenders in a bind on this. There's no way they, if our quarterback is right, they can't be right. No way, no how, they, they just can't be right. Uh, just to give you a little stat on this uh, quarterback R, uh, RPO that we ran, the quarterback sweep. Um, every time we ran, we had a 80% uh, com completion percentage on this when we threw the football. Uh, now running it, my quarterback ran uh, for over 1,000 yards this year, uh, close to 2,000 yards this year. And... Uh, and he threw for uh, 1,800. So he had a lot of yards, he had 33 touchdowns, and a lot of it was off this play right here. Nice, nice. Well, 
Thank you very much, sure. Coach. Um, Coach did so well. I, I'm not going to go over my RPO. This, this was amazing. I can't top that. But let's see what kind of questions. Coach, do you ever lead the guard or do you ever let the lead guard try to hook the defensive end without the back? Um, we do have a variation that we are working on uh, that we are working on this year. Uh, just to improve this quarterback speak my brand, that's correct. We will um, we will do that. And if we do that, we'll we'll no longer run the bubble with uh, with our number three. So basically if we do that, we're gonna change it up a little bit. Um, and draw us back up. Can you guys still see that? I hope you guys still see that. Um, we'll do it this way now if we're gonna do that. Okay. So basically, we still got everything going on. Um, he's going to kind of seal right there. The tailback will be basically, he'll be that flat route now. Okay. So here's what we're going to do with that. We're going to send him up the pipe. Okay. And we'll send him. Um, actually, I just about forgot. Okay. Yeah. And we're just going to do grass with him. And he's going to run that comeback. So basically, that'll be our variation. And we'll take him and we'll just kind of drag him across. That'll be, that's what we're working on now. Uh, we're going to do it in the spring. Not sure it's going to be very good for us, but <laughs> we're, we'll check it out and see. All right. So any defensive coaches that are watching this, you're screwed if you have to play <laughs> them. I'm sorry. Yeah, Just know. go ahead. Give, give us the uh, W. Uh, Coach Carter, Marcus Carter, um, if you go back, I have a playlist for the pin and pool. We go over it, and actually in about a week, I will be coming out with an ebook on how we run our pin and pull RPO. It has everything, it's about 60 pages. So keep, in, keep that in mind. I suggest you buy it. I'll stop. Okay, this uh, man's really good. Coach Diego, um, thanks for stopping by. Uh, it's no problem, I'm just trying to give back to the coaches because I love what we do together in this community. And again, if, if you're just joining us, my name's Coach Mackey. Um, this is Coach Singleton. We are putting on a little clinic right now. He is, I'm lucky enough for him to come down and, and get together with us. Uh, if you like this and if you find this helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I put something out every Saturday around 10, 1030. And we're going on to our, the last question, fellas, is our favorite third down and five to seven pass. Now I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and go first if that's all right, Coach. Go ahead. All right, I'm gonna let Coach finish it up since he is my guest. Um, what I like if it's third and five is I like the Y cross. I love Y cross. What? That's, what? Yeah, now you, oh, gotta, now you gotta find something. Thanks, guys. And something else. That's why I decided to go first. <laughs> and I like to run it out of our two by two. Now the reason why I like to run it out of two by two is because now, Coach and I were talking about this before we got out here. Coaches like to give offensive coaches a lot of crap because we like to run the spread. We like to throw the ball on the RPOs, and they tell us that we are all getting drinking the Kool-Aid. But no one really gives defensive coaches crap when they run the same freaking uh, coverage that college people are running, which is the Palms coverage. Cover two, to me it blows my mind. I don't know about you, Coach, but – Having 15, 16, 17 year old kids read a guy and then base the coverage off of what this guy does, and you got to get all four, at least four of them, on the same page. That that seems ridiculous to me. So this is takes advantage of that. So most teams will give us this when we go two by two, and let me. And this is how we run it. The L. He's got. A route. It's an option route. If there's too high, or what coach likes to say, too on the ceiling, right? Two on the roof. Two yep. on the roof. He's running a mandatory outside release go. If there's one in the middle of the field, one on the roof, I'm guessing that's what you call coach. Yeah, one on the roof. Then he is running a post. That's the only thing. Two high, run a vert. One high, you run a post. Okay? The F. Now, a lot of people like to run the F on a five out. I think the end zone does that and the Tony Franklin system run does that and that's their hot. I picked this up from, what was it, Drew? Drew, yep. uh, Drew Piscopo, am I saying his name right? Mm -hmm. If you don't know Drew Piscopo, search him up on Twitter. He, well, he's amazing, he, he's legit. Uh, air raid, it, it, he's a, a fanatic air raid. He, <laughs> very good. Very so good. a fundamentalist air raider, if I, if I was going to say it. And he told me this, and it's amazing. This guy runs a 10-yard out. 
And the reason why is once these guys in palm coverage, the defenders, once the wide receivers go uh, anywhere between 8 to 12 yards, it turns into man-to-man. -man. So this right here, the corner ran off. Most teams now will put their safety inside the hash because they don't want to get beat with the post. That's fine because the F is running out. So this is usually wide open when we run it this way. And we've been doing some uh, drills with our quarterbacks, wide receivers. We're, we're roasting the defense on this. The next thing is the Y's. Y cross is the Y. He is running the crossing route. Now it's very important. He has to go anyone head up to inside of him. He has to go underneath him, stick it for about four yards, and then he is going over top the mic. So it's under Sam, over Mike, and he is looking for somewhere a point 18 to 22 yards down the field on the opposite hash. The thing that we give him is once he clears this mic, he is now looking for grass. So he can settle up here, he can settle up here, or he can continue to go. It's up to him. We drill this every single day, finding grass. Backside, you got a 10 yard dig. And he really doesn't have to blow off the line, go really hard. This is, this is a bailout for the quarterback. So he's running 10. And then once he hits 10, he's finding grass as well. In the back, he's check, release him. And the quarterback, it's really simple. One, two, three. And again, I'm not, I'm not R4. I'm not Coach Dan Gonzalez. I don't know any of the, the advantage principles or anything like that. I'm stupid. So what we go with is grass because there's a lot of grass on the field. Grass one, grass two, grass three, grass four, grass five. So the quarterback has to know these areas where we're going to throw it. And then he goes one, two, three. All right, do I have a defender in this first grass area? No, I'm throwing it. If he answers yes, there's a defender, a different color jersey in this grass area, he's hitching up, he's going to the second. Do I have a different color jersey in this area? No, throwing it. Yes, hitching up, going here. Y'all y'all get the concept. No color, throwing it, color, hitch, right here, color, no, throwing it, yes, hitch, now I'm fine in the back. And again, on all the passes that we have, the back is always the bailout. And this is what I like to go to when it's third and five, third and six, third and seven. And uh, for some of y'all, you can tag it with the play action. This is also deadly with play action. It's, it's my favorite route. So coach, if you come on up, let's, let's see. Does anybody? Uh... All right. And then coach, take it away. All right, I'm, I'm going to do Y cross, but I'm going to do it with the tight end attached. Uh, All right, so, so we're going to we're going to do Y cross with the tight end attached. Do I have any tight end fans uh, watching out here because we, we love our tight ends. We give them love in our system. Give us coaches if you like tight ends, please give us a thumbs up. All right, let's see here. You're all this big, so you guys can see it, huh? Coach Bananas, welcome. Glad you can make it. Coach Jackson, all right. Coach Jackson loves tight ends. All right, here we go. Good deal, good deal. Oops. Didn't even be able to see that. All right, let's see. Make sure I got this right. How am I going to do this? Okay. So basically, we, we use tight ends. Um, that's why you'll see that usually where you guys probably have H, I have M. Um, we use a lot of tight ends, so I use my H uh, no, or letter for, uh, for my other tight end. Okay, so that'd be H, that'll be Y, here's my M, okay, my Z, and we got T. Alright, so here's how what we like to run sometimes on third and five, third and seven um, with the tight end attached. Uh, we call this, this is our tray, so this would be, this would be tray right, okay, so we put our tight end away, alright. From, from the trio, okay? So we call it Trey. All right, so it's Trey Wright. So it basically be Trey Wright, okay? Uh, Aggie, we call Aggie our, our cross. All right, so here's how we're gonna run this, all right? A little, little unique, okay? Um, but we like to do it, and it's a change up, I think, and it's not, you know, the normal uh, Y cross that you see all the time. All right, so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this H, and he's just gonna run the scene, okay? Straight up the field, all right? So he'll run the scene. All right, we're getting him out of there, okay? 
I'm going to take my tail back and I'm going to run the chute route with him right there. Okay? So basically now he's my flat route. He's that, that flat route. Like Coach talked about, he's running that out route, okay, uh, which is great, by the way. I love it. Um, I will steal that. Um, actually, I've already stolen it. It's right here. You can't uh, steal what's willingly given. That's right. So now he becomes that, that out route or that hot route, okay? All right, so basically and this is how we change it up a little bit, okay? We're going to take our M, okay, and we're going to run the backside smash route with him, okay? All right, so we're basically, what we're going to look for is, okay, well, I'll, get, I'll get into progression in just a second, but we're going to try to pull a safety with him, all right, to try to clear out that area coming across. Excellent. All right, so if they're in zone a little bit, you know, we teach our Y, again, it's under, uh, under the slam, over the mic, okay? So he's going to go under, over, and work his way, okay? All right, so what we teach him is if it's zone, though, he can sit down, and any wind that he finds through there, our quarterback knows if they're in zone, he's going to sit in those winds. He knows that. We rep it. We rep it a ton. I'm a rep guy. Uh, the more reps I can get, the better I think we perform and, and our quarterbacks understand what we're trying to do. Um, so, uh, you know, my, my coaches get mad. Hey, we repped that yesterday. Well, we're going to rep it again today. Um, I didn't like it or we just need to get better at it. Um, you know, that, that's just my philosophy. And what we're going to do again is we're basically we're doing the same way. Is we're going to run that, that uh, big – with our Z, okay? All right, so progression for this, okay, for our quarterbacks is gonna be, uh, our first read is gonna be this C, okay? All right, so he's looking. If that's a free throw, nobody's, nobody picked that tight end up, bam, we're gonna hit that uh, right off the bat, okay? So we're just gonna hit that seam right in the seam and let him go, okay? That's, that's an easy throw, um, but what you gotta teach your tight end is, guys, when you clear, okay, when you clear, you better get your head around because we'll put it on your body. Okay, that ball will be delivered right on the body. Uh, two will be the uh, flat route, okay? So we'll read that. Uh, that flat route's gonna be our number two read. So the quarterback's on that seam, and then he's, then he's to, uh, to the two, and then he'll work his way back to the three, which is the cross, okay? All right, and then we'll work our way uh, to that D, okay? Now this throw right here is what we, gonna, what we call the peak. Okay, that's a peak throw, okay? All right, so what I mean by that, coaches, is that pre-snap, if that safety's hung out way over here off the hash, okay, for some reason he's off that hash and he can't get there, we'll pop that right now, okay? Um, again, we'll, it's like stealing, we'll take it. Um, if you're going to give it to us, we're going to take it. Basically, that's how we run with, with our, our tray, with, our, with a tight end away from the, the, uh, the trio. Um, that's pretty much how we run our, our Y cross. <laughs> Um, or cross, however you want to call it. Um, it's it's unique. Um, you know, we we've completed that. You know, a, a version of this every time we've done it. I think maybe in the past two years we haven't completed anything off of it. But again, it's just a different change up. And if you like tight ends, get them big boys and give them yeah. some love. Give them some All love. right, give them some love. Get them involved in that passing game. Um, All right. All right. I like it, coach. I love it. I mean, personally, I, I don't like tight ends, but, uh, he, you know, I, I'm weird. He's a crazy guy. I am. I am. <laughs> uh, let's go back. Coach Bananas, yes, this will be recorded and posted right after I, we finish up. It'll go straight to the uh, my videos, so you can rewatch it if you want to. Um, Coach So, welcome. This is American Football. You are right. Sorry we don't speak French. <laughs> I, I wish no, I could. I, I can no. barely speak English. Um, if you don't understand the concept, uh, well, thank you very much. Also, Coach Carter, tell him now. Follow this man on Twitter. He'll help you out and get his uh, his coaches two videos. And if we don't have any more questions, we went over. I, I was not expecting going 45 oh, no, minutes. Fine. I, I no apologize. Problem. No problem. For you coaches that are that have joined us and stayed the whole time, thank you. For those that are just coming in on the tail end, you can rewatch this. It'll be posted in all my videos. Right after we finish, I'm Coach Mackey. This is my YouTube channel, Coach Mackey's Football. This is Coach Singleton. He let, let's go ahead, write down your uh, your Twitter handle. If you want to get in touch with him, follow this man on Twitter. Write a big man, right, oh, right, no. as big as you can. Oh my goodness, as big as you can. He he put he posts stuff every single minute almost. This man is a wealth of knowledge. Oh, Coach Patrick, all right. Welcome to seeing the light. He's going from the double wing to the air raid. Welcome to the, to the right side. I like that. Can you all see that? 
Coach Slade, S-L-A-D-E, 248. Follow this man on Twitter. If you have any questions, he does a great job answering them. Uh, and if you, if you like this, please give it a thumbs up. This man has a, a video out. I'll post it in the description below after this is all over so you can click it. If you found this helpful, share it with people. Uh, subscribe to my channel. And again, I put something out. <laughs> stop. I put something out every single Saturday around 10 to 10.30. And thanks for being around. If this is bad, I'm sorry. We're going to start doing a little bit more of this. Coach Donnell, yes, I do have a YouTube channel. And remember, coaches, until next time, let's continue to master the spread, score points, and have fun.